Stable coins are threatening fiat in East Asia. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, yes, talking about some awesome news about stable coins, of course, jumping into the charts and showing you what is happening to Bitcoin today and also what I expect for the next upcoming weeks, guys. And of course, an inspirational quarter yet, maybe something else in between. Let's see, because I am back on the beach again. Empty beach. It's a beach. It's a Bitcoin beach without booties today, I think. Because look, maybe I went too early. Maybe I need to go a little bit later for people even to wake up and to appear on the beach because it's now, I think, 6.30? Let me check what time it is, guys. Ah, 6.38, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the news for us because it's awesome news. Bam, I almost feel like in this movie Castaway where some guy is completely alone on the island. That's how empty the beach is, big waves at the moment. We had some uh, rainy days, still some clouds, but uh, the sun starts to appear more and more and more, guys. Now, the news for today is that the stable coins are threatening fiat in Eastern Asia. Hong Kong is at the moment one of the biggest growing markets when it comes to crypto and stable coins adoption. 40% of all the value transacted in Hong Kong is already done by stable coins. Why are they doing this? because they understood that the remittance fees with banks is too high. In average, on all transactions in Hong Kong that used the banks, the remittance fees were 7.45%. We all know that those fees are completely zero when you transact in crypto with stablecoins, for example. Maybe they could be going up to like 0.2 or 0.5, sometimes maybe even 1%, but by far less than 7.45%. So the more countries will understand that they shouldn't be using fiat currencies like dollars, euros, or yen, or yuan, whatever currency it is, because it's too expensive to use the currencies to go do some import, you know, pay other companies on the other side of the world. So when they understand this, they will start to use stable coins because it's way faster and way cheaper. If a company from Hong Kong sends USDT, for example, to me here in Thailand or to you in the Netherlands, it will take a bam, split of a second and the stable coins will be there almost fearless. If a company in Hong Kong wants to pay me or you in the Netherlands, for example, 1000 euros through a bank account, it will take days. If he does it on Friday, it will only arrive on the Monday and the fees will be around 7%. So why would these companies still keep choosing for fiat currency if they can use the cheaper, better, faster, broader and stable coin? So yes, this means to me that we are winning that monetary system war. The new monetary policies are being created on the blockchain. Stable coins are gonna be a huge part of it. USDT is not gonna disappear. USDC is not gonna disappear. DAI is not gonna disappear. There will be coming probably more stable coins that are even being backed by Bitcoin or something like that in the future to make it even more transparent and even more safe. We are winning this revolution. We are disrupting the complete monetary system. Countries will all see this. We will all start to do import and export with blockchain based stable coins or cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin because it's better, it's safer, it's faster is outperforming any other asset in the world, why would you still use those shit coins, euros and dollars? Hong Kong already 40%. How long will it take before Hong Kong will be on 80%? That people will be paying even the groceries with use these stable coins. Because when the big companies start to use stable coins, it will slowly go also become a trend at the normal people they will start to pay their groceries with stable coins so that those big companies receive stable coins, so that the big companies with those stable coins can do import and export. That's how the economy slowly, from top to bottom, will start to use more and more stable coins and bitcoins, guys, as the digital goal of the 21st century. This is amazing news here on the beach. Yes, on the beach. I don't know what it is. I have more energy. Maybe I'm speaking too loud now. I don't know. Maybe I want to try to uh, outperform the waves. Not the waves of bitcoin, but the waves here. Still no booties inside, guys. Still no booties inside. I'm still all alone, man. How beautiful is this here in the morning uh, in Thailand? 
So that was the news for the day. In certain countries, stable coins start to outperform fiat. And yes, Bitcoin is going to outperform gold. And that is what we can see in the news now. Yes, gold is making new all-time highs, already $75,000 almost per kilogram of gold. When gold does this, Bitcoin will follow. I believe Bitcoin will soon, really soon, start to explode to the upside somewhere near 75, 85, then 95,000 US dollar before even Christmas this year, guys. Beautiful Christmas present. So let's see if that will happen, but let's now jump into the charts to show you what is happening today and what will happen in the short term, mid term, and long term to Bitcoin. Bam. Oh, I have some amazing charts for you today, guys. This is the first chart. This is the four hour chart, like your use from me. This four hour chart, we are now at the moment breaking that yellow line over there, guys. That candle of four hours, this four hour kind of broke above it. Now this next candle just opened. It will take another three hours for that one to close. If we close above this yellow line, that's very positive. We can hunt for the next resistance at 65K. So what does Bitcoin normally do? Just like I told you the last time, when we break these levels, we go up. Mostly we retest that level again before we again push up higher and higher and higher. So that is probably how we go into October to 67 and 70K and in October maybe even to 85K levels, guys. Amazing to see that Bitcoin is now over there breaking that level. On the five day chart, also very positive, the Gaussian channel. This one closed above it, like I told you. This is very important that one closed above it. Oh, there, this one. Now this one opened above it and is still above it. It's gonna close and there you can see it one day and 23 hours we should be closing above this gaussian channel that is very very positive that means we are out of the gaussian channel and we can again go up a little bit higher maybe retest it one time and again bring it higher 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 guys amazing to see all of these charts but i have some amazing other charts as well and i'm going to jump into those now because they are very important for you guys to see bam this is the first one this chart you can see the liquidation levels guys look how beautiful here at 64 65k that's the level we are hunting for at the moment and over here still also at the 20 62 ish also still some levels that we can reach to liquidate so these areas are always representing the support and resistance but also the liquidation levels that we need to be liquidating to uh, go to higher levels to break these levels to go to 66 game for example so these liquidation charts always keep an eye on them then we have of course this one the 180 day price high and low all time i will drink a zip of my coffee i'm a coffee drink i drink a lot of coffee every day on this chart there is an alert and this alert only happens a few times and at the moment it happened here one two three four this is now the fifth time we see this alert. If we compare this current bull cycle to the bull cycle of 2015 uh, to 17, then this would be now the second alert in the cycle and we will get another third alert. Now, this alert is telling us that the volatility is low, almost at its lowest. Just check the bottom part of the chart. You can see the range, this orange part. That's the volatility. Check the range is very low here. Here also, very low. Here, very low. Here, almost zero. Here again, very low. Whenever the volatility, the range is going down this much, we will see a huge move upwards. That was over here. We saw the huge move. Yeah, I don't know if you were in it already, but it was like a couple of hundred dollars, $800, all the way, a move here, bam, to almost uh, 1K. And then here, 1K, bam, to almost uh, one and a half to 2K. That's how it moved. These alerts were important. Here, we moved as well. This was, I think, from the 20K-ish, 30K level all the way up here to 60K. This is the second alert. I mean, we will get a third alert because the volatility is low. This is a moment you should be stepping into Bitcoin. Analyze this chart a little bit more. I found this one on CryptoQuant. You can find them over there, guys. Please pause the video and analyze it for yourself that you understand exactly what I'm saying. Then we go into this chart, guys. This chart I found on Twitter on BTCUSD. 
the Twitter account, Rekt Capital. What is interesting on this chart is that you can see how, where we are at the moment in the cycle. You know, we have this halving, this blue line over there that was in May 2020. Then we had a sideways movement in that red area over there. It was 161 days. And then we went into this green movement, was the steepest part of the bull market, all the way up to the top. Okay? Now we had the bear market bottom. We had some testing over there. We had a sideways part over there. Here again, now we went into the halving, before the halving already in autumn high. In this halving, 161 days. We are almost at 170 days. I believe at 170 days we will go up more into this green box. And it will be the steepest part of the bull market. How long will it take? Just check here. It started in 2020. It went all the way till the end of 2021, guys. It's starting in 2024 and it will go all the way into 2025, guys. That's why I say the bull market target will be 2025, the top of the bull market. Okay? So the pinkish area, post halving, re accumulation, and then the parabolic upside is that green area, guys. Then we have another beautiful chart, this one. Uh, it's not a chart, this is a table. On this table, um, you can see, yeah, my face doesn't matter where it is, because we are focusing on October. We can see over here October. October also referred to as October. Why is October referred to as October? Because we had a 51% increase, we had a 36% increase, a 14%, a 44%, a 10%. A 27, a 32, a 6, a 26. An average, we had a shitload of in, uh, increase in October. That's why it's called October. And yes, 2011 and 12, we're still pretty early in the Bitcoin world. So that was negative months. 2014, I can understand that was the big crash from 1200 to $200. So that was the bear market year. 2018 was the bear market year. So these bear market years, we could be negative. But all the bull market years, 2016-17, bull market years, very positive. Over here, 2019-20, bull market years, very positive. So all of these bull market years have been positive. I believe that this is going to be a very positive October, guys. Then we have another chart over here, guys. Just a very simple chart. I keep repeating these charts so that you understand where we are in the cycle. Um, we are exactly where we should be. And we can see now that in 2016, at this moment over there, that was when the huge third part of the bull market started. 2020, this moment, that huge steep part. We are now here in 2024. Yes, we will run into that same moment and from that moment go into a steep part. I believe to in between 120 to 160,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. That was the last chart for today, guys. So very simple. We are here. We will end up there. So we are going to go up. Not only October, but also up November, up December, and I will think up 2025 to create a new bull market all time high somewhere at the end of 2025, guys. Now, that were the charts for today. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, on the four hour chart, we can see that we're trying to break the 63, six to 800,000 level, guys. That is a very hard level of resistance. As you can see, you look to the left, a lot of resistance over there. We need to break this with a four hour candle, then open a new four hour candle above it, and then go to the next level that we want to reach 65K, also resistance, and then it's open market all the way to 70K in my opinion. And it could lead to easily reaching 75K and even 84K, like I said in my video two days ago, because that's my target, 85K in Octoberish slash Novemberish, guys. Amazing run. That would be like 20K more than now. That's amazing to buy Bitcoin now and earn 20K in one and a half month. So that would also be my advice at the moment. <laughs> buy some Bitcoin around these 60K levels, because before you know it, 85K, that's 25K profit. 25K profit by investing 60K in about two months. I think that's a really good return on investment, guys. But that's my opinion. I always zoom out in Bitcoin and look at the four year cycle. We are not even near the top. The top will be in 2025. At the moment, it is 2024 for all those people that are still sleeping. Wake up, wake up, wake up, call. It is 2024. We will see a beautiful new autumn high this year before the end. But the bull market top will be in 2025, guys. 
Now, let's quickly jump into the end of the video, the inspirational quote to share my thoughts about life with you. Bam! And for that inspirational quote, guys, I'm gonna turn around and walk that side. Maybe we are more lucky with booties. Maybe some kind of a monkey will jump out of the trees and we see a monkey booty. At the moment, no beach bay booties yet, all beasts. But guys, the inspirational quote for today is, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. I think that's a very powerful and inspirational quote. Learn from yesterday, whatever it was that you did yesterday, experienced yesterday, ran into yesterday. Learn from that experience, learn from that resistance, learn from that encounter, whatever it was, learn from yesterday. Live for today, grab life by the balls today, enjoy life to the fullest on this moment, today. Like I'm doing over here guys now, walking the beach, that's what I really love. I really love, I get more energy, I wake up more like happy in the morning. So today, live for today. Later I will do some sports, I will do some breakfast, I will do all kinds of cool stuff, maybe even go swimming and see. Live for today, enjoy every single moment of the day. I think it's very important. And then you just hope for tomorrow. Hope that tomorrow will be another beautiful day. Manifest or visualize another amazing day, week, month, year. Manifest and visualize that all your goals will come through. Keep believing in them and then just let go the thought. And then you will hope for tomorrow. Hope to wake up healthy. Hope to wake up next to your wife. Hope to see your wife healthy, your kids healthy. That's a very powerful quote. Learn from yesterday, live life today to the fullest, and hope for tomorrow. I think also slowly I'm running out of all of these quotes, guys, because man, I've been doing this now for like two years almost. Every day a quote of the day. I already need to stop with like tip of the trading tip. I already need to start with trading tips today because I ran out of all the trading tips. So I'm kind of running out of content, I think. I, can you help me? What would you like my videos to be about? I know the charts will always be part of it because you want to know what is happening to Bitcoin, when to buy and when to sell. Charts, always there. The news, always there because sometimes there is funny news and then I can share it also with you guys. But what a side of the Bitcoin charts, the Bitcoin news, the inspirational part, what aside of those three items you would like to see back in my videos? Is it, for example, the question of a follower or is it a travel tip or is it something completely new? Can you please let me know down below, guys? Also, I want to ask you that if you sign up to any of the exchanges that I talk about, I mainly talk about Bybit or Blowfin or Apex Omni, please use the links down below. Yes, I will be earning some referral income of that and yes, you should not be envying me for that. You should be happy for me that I'm earning a little bit over there because I give all this free education every day. Whew, I'm getting tired of walking on the beach, guys. And we need to work for you. I'm working for you every day. So please use those links down below. Bybit has massive bonuses up to 30,000 US dollar. Blowfin at the moment, you can win a Tesla 3, a Ninja Kawasaki, an iPhone, whatever prices, and you get a 15% deposit bonus. If you deposit $1,000, you get $150 for free. And Apex Omni is the best decentralized exchange out there. I already told you about Apex almost two years ago. It grew out to the biggest decentralized exchange and it's gonna be bigger. I met the team in Singapore, Tokyo 2049. In Singapore, I met the team of Apex Pro. Believe me, they are gonna grow bigger. They are gonna do really well. And I know why. And you also know why. Because all those centralized exchanges are being killed. Why? By all the KYC, AML regulations in all those countries. Now again, I heard something about another exchange leaving the Netherlands because of all that shit show. These decentralized exchanges will survive because you can still trade anonymously, but also you don't need to send your Bitcoins there. You can just connect your wallet and trade. You never have the risk of an exchange collapsing and running away with your money because the money is still in your account, on your wallet, guys. So use those links, Bybit, Blowfin, and Apex Pro, guys. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about this beautiful beach without booties, without boobs, but still Bitcoin beach for talks, guys? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and I wish you an amazing day. Bam.